Dhammapada, verse 48. With ungratified desires, the sensual die. Puphani heva pachinantang, Vyasat manasang narang, Atittang yeva kamesu, Antako kurute vasang. The man who gathers flowers of sensual pleasure, whose mind is entangled, and who is insatiate in desires, is overpowered by death. The lady who was born in Tavatinsa heaven, Pati Pujika Kumari. Pati Pujika Kumari was a lady from Savati. She married at the age of 16 and had four sons. She was a virtuous and generous lady who loved to make offerings of food and other requisites to the holy people. She would often go to the monastery and clean up the premises, fill the pots and jars with water and perform other services. Pati Pujika also possessed the knowledge through which she remembered that in her previous existence she was one of the wives of Malabhari in the Deva world of Tavatinsa. She also remembered that she had passed away from there when all of them were out in the garden enjoying themselves, plucking flowers. So, every time she made offerings to the bhikkhus or performed other meritorious acts, she would aspire that she might be reborn in the Tavatinsa realm as a wife of Malabhari, her previous husband. One day, Patipujika fell ill and passed away. As she had so ardently wished, she was reborn in Tavatinsa Deva world, again as a wife of Malabhari. As one hundred years in the human world is equivalent to just one day in Tavatinsa world, Malabhari and the other Devas were still in the garden enjoying themselves, and Patipujika was barely missed by them. So, when she rejoined them, Malabhari asked her where she had been in the whole morning. She then told about her passing away from there and finally re her return to Tavatinsa. The bhikkhus reported the death of Patipujika to the Buddha. He explained that the life of beings was very brief and that before they could be satiated in their sensual desires, they would be overpowered by death.